Introduction, the turn of the iconic X-Men, the animated series in the form of X-Men 97 on Disney Plus has been met with both excitement and controversy. Central to the recent discourse is the character Morph, who has been confirmed as non-binary in the new series. This revelation has sparked a heated debate among fans and the public alike. J.P. Karliak, the voice actor behind Morph, has stepped forward to address the backlash. Offering insight into the character's evolution and his own personal connection to the issue. The controversy unfolds as X Men 97 prepared for its release. Marvel's decision to describe Morph as non binary was met with mixed reactions. While many welcomed the progressive step, others expressed disapproval, arguing that it altered the character's original portrayal. Amidst the social media storm, J. P. Karliak, who took over the role of Morph from the late Ron Rubin, has been vocal about his support for the character's non-binary identity. Karliak Shrespones, in a detailed interview with CBR, Karliak shared his thoughts on the controversy. It didn't surprise me at all, he said, highlighting his background. As a queer activist and his work with organizations advocating for queer representation, I know what's going on in the world especially politically, so no, it didn't surprise me at all. Karliak went on to express his appreciation for the counter backlash, he observed, which saw fans defending the character's evolution and reminding critics of the X-Men's core message of inclusivity and representation. That was reassuring, he noted. Character evolution and personal connection, delving deeper into Morph's character, Karliak explained that the nod, Binary description is not out of place for a character that has always defied norms. Morph's shape-shifting abilities in the original series often involved changes in gender presentation, even though the character was predominantly seen in a male form. In X-Men 97, the decision to describe Morph as non-binary is a natural progression that aligns with the character's fluid nature. Karliak also shared a personal connection to the character, identifying as genderqueer himself and using he or him pronouns. He emphasized that while he uses he or him pronouns, they or them pronouns were not a concept in the 1990s, the era in which X-Men 97 is set. Morph's understanding of who he is could equate to what a modern person would say is non-binary, but he just doesn't have the terminology for it, Karliak explained. The bigger picture, the conversation surrounding Morph's non-binary characterization in X-Men 97 extends beyond the show itself. It reflects a broader societal discussion about gender identity, representation, and the evolving understanding of non-binary and genderqueer individuals. For Karliak, the inclusion of a non-binary character in a mainstream animated series is a step forward in the right direction. The X-Men have always been about representation and inclusivity, Karliak pointed out. Giving the hero the updated identifier makes sense, even if they weren't classified as non-binary before. Conclusion As X-Men 97 continues to air on Disney+, Plus, the debate around Morph's non-binary characterization is likely to persist. However, the discourse also presents an opportunity for education and dialogue about gender diversity. J.P. Karliak's candid response to the backlash not only underscores his personal investment in the issue, but also serves as a reminder of the X-Men's enduring legacy as a franchise that champions the marginalized and the misunderstood.